Hey guys and welcome to another episode of the Flamingo Chef and today I'm going to be cooking Orange Ruffy. Now if you don't know what Orange Ruffy is, well, there it is. It's fish. But what it is, it's a uh, deep water sea bass and uh, I mean it's a pretty amazing fish. You should look it up online. These things can live over 200 years and it's some of the best white fish around. I'm gonna pan braise it today, my way. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk about what we're gonna cook with today. Obviously we have the fish, but what are we gonna do with it? So we're gonna cook it in this pan. And what I did was just grease this pan very lightly with some olive oil. So that's what you see in the pan. But that's not all. We're gonna add a little butter. And today I'm using regular salted butter, about three tablespoons. I've got uh, probably about a handful of chopped onion and just uh, chopped down to a mince, if you can see that. Uh, I've got parsley, I've got garlic, I've got some Italian seasoning which you can buy pre-mixed or you can use just oregano and basil. Uh, I like a little more oregano, so we've got some oregano. I've got salt and pepper. I've got a little bit of sour cream, I've got one lemon, and I've got some Cavender's Greek seasoning. Man, I want these guys to be a sponsor. I use so much of their stuff. Okay, so this is really simple, but it's delicious. So stay with me. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is get this pan hot, and I do mean hot. And as soon as it is hot, just go ahead and throw your onions in there and let them start sizzling. If they don't sizzle when they hit that pan, it's just not hot enough. The other thing you should have on hand ready to go is either some white wine or some white rum, depending on whether you want it sweet or not. Me, I like to use the wine that I'm going to eat with it or drink with it when I eat dinner. All right, so the onion starts to cook. Go ahead and put a little garlic in there, about one clove. Let that cook, let that soak go as well. Take half of your lemon, squeeze the juice in. If you see any seeds, you should have seeded the lemon ahead of time, but some of them are sneaky. I got one right there, we'll get them out of there. All right, stir this together, don't let it burn, and put in your butter. I'm going to use three tablespoons of butter. I know it sounds like a lot, but trust me, it's important. So we're going to bring the heat down a little bit so we don't scorch anything. And let that butter start to melt in. If your garlic browns a little bit, that's okay. It just lets the flavor come through. Not a bad thing. Just keep letting that butter move around. down, always moving everything in the pan. And as, the, as it starts to build up, the butter's melting down, we're going to add some parsley, a little bit of Italian seasoning. This is about a teaspoon of each one of these. You don't have to go crazy. And a little oregano. I'm also going to throw in a little Greek seasoning, about the same amount. Stir this again. For those of you wondering what's in the other pan, uh, check out my video on eggplant stew, because that's going to get served with my orange ruffy here in a minute. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper to this. Not very much salt, don't need a lot of salt with this one. Okay, we're going to throw in a dollop of sour cream. For those of you asking, what is a dollop? Well, it's just a splash basically. It's just enough to make that hot or that pan change color and aroma and consistency. And then we'll go ahead and add the juice, the other half of the lemon juice. And 
missed a couple seeds. Get them over there. All right. This is about the consistency I want it to be. I might add a little bit of white wine. In fact, I think I will. Not very much. Just enough to get that a little more liquidy in the pan. And then I'm going to bring my heat back up a little bit to about medium high. And go ahead and set my fish right on that. <clears throat> this is going to cook the fish with a combination of the heat, the lemon, and the steam. It's not rocket science. Turn the fish over. Move the pan around, make sure you're not all stuck everywhere. You hadn't guessed that stuff it's cooking in is also going to be the sauce it's served with. This doesn't take very long. You'll see the fish is already starting to flake a little bit. You're going to turn this piece of fish over a couple of different times so it cooks pretty evenly. Now, if you want to finish it in the broiler, you can. If you want to put a little cheese over the top of it, that's your thing. Go ahead. Really, it doesn't need anything else. If you want to add a little spice, I recommend like a jerk seasoning. This is a locally sourced jerk seasoning. I don't really think it needs it, but if you want a little heat, that's really the best, best choice for this dish. We're going to let this fish cook just a couple more minutes, and it'll be ready to serve. And I'll show you what it looks like on the plate. See you in a minute. Okay, so the fish is plated. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Right there is orange ruffy. Pretty simple plate. This stuff over here on the side, this is my uh, eggplant stew that I make. My children love it. By all means, check out the video on how to make eggplant stew. And uh, this is wonderful stuff, guys. Simple. Man, it's so good, and this fish is amazing. As always, Thank you for joining me. I hope this is something that you uh, are interested in trying yourself. If there is a recipe you'd like me to, to do or try or something that your grandmama made, whatever it might be, feel free to reach out, billstout at chef.net. Like, share, and subscribe. And as always, bon appetit. Thanks, guys.